Did you know that even before the arrival of the 20th century, I, Nikola Tesla, had already invented the alternating current motor? Yes, it was I who laid the foundations for the modern electrical system. However, despite my achievements, I lived moments of extreme difficulty, such as when I lost my laboratory in a fire in 1895. We will explore these stories and more in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to support the spark of curiosity. I was born in 1856 in a village called Smiljan, in what is now Croatia. I was the fourth of five children in an Orthodox Serbian family. My father, Milutin, was a priest, and my mother, Juka, although she had no formal education, possessed an astonishing intelligence and innate talent for inventing household equipment. From a very young age, I had an insatiable curiosity and a vivid imagination. I often found myself lost in my thoughts, inventing machines in my mind, even before learning to read. I was homeschooled during my early years and then attended secondary school in the Polytechnic in Graz, Austria. Despite my devotion to science and engineering, there was always an enigmatic side to my love life. Some believe I remained celibate all my life, while others suggest I had numerous hidden relationships. I've always preferred to keep this aspect of my life private, allowing my work to speak for itself. However, I can tell you that I have always had a passionate love for pigeons, finding in them companionship and tranquility that I seldom found in human company. One of my most emblematic achievements was the development of alternating current, AC, which has served as the basis for the modern electrical system. During my years at the Continental Edison Company, I came to understand the limitations of direct current, DC, and began to explore the possibilities of AC. With AC, electricity could be transmitted over long distances, a problem that DC could not solve. This culminated in my invention of the alternating current induction motor, an alternating current transformer patented in 1887. In addition to AC, I worked on a variety of projects that seemed taken from a science fiction novel. For example, I became obsessed with the idea of wireless energy and power transmission, which resulted in the construction of the Wardenclyffe Tower, although the project never came to fruition due to lack of funding. Interestingly, although it has not been recognized enough, I made crucial contributions to the development of radar. My initial ideas about radar met with skepticism, but years later, during World War II, its invaluable value was demonstrated. My last years were marked by financial difficulties and a constant struggle to finance my research. Despite my contributions to society, I found myself living in poverty in New York City. My health began to deteriorate, but I refused to be hospitalized and continued working on my experiments and theories in my hotel room. One of the great tragedies of my life was the loss of my laboratory in a fire in 1895. This place housed much of my work, my notes, and my prototypes. However, despite this devastating loss, I remained resolute in my passion for discovery and creation. Finally, on the night of January 7, 1943, at the age of 86, my journey came to an end. I was found lifeless in my room at the New Yorker Hotel. My death was attributed to arteriosclerosis, but as I often say, my body was merely a vessel for my mind, and my mind was my true essence. Reflecting on my life, despite the challenges, losses, and lack of recognition, I am proud of my contributions to humanity. My work has transformed the world in ways I could never have imagined, and although my life was complicated and often tragic, I believe the mark of a man is not measured by his difficulties, but by his ability to overcome them. If you have been interested in my story, I invite you to subscribe and continue exploring the lives of people who, like me, have played crucial roles in shaping our history and our present.